So in regards to the Clear Heart readings, I have done some sessions and some feedback and received some questions. So I just want to talk a little bit more about them, why I created them and who they're for to clear things up for anybody who's curious and just hasn't asked me yet. So one, why did I create the Clear Heart sessions, the reading sessions? It is basically inspired by the fact that in my previous relationship, now this was a good relationship. This person didn't do much of anything wrong. Nobody's perfect, right? But when we talk about relationships beginning and ending, a lot of times when we talk about leaving relationships socially, I think the sensationalization lends towards everyone talking about who's toxic, who's a narcissist, who's a cheater, who's this, that, and the other. That doesn't happen to me. Um, that's not why I left this relationship. It just wasn't right. It just wasn't enough. And despite my urgencies and communications, this person was not capable of fulfilling what I needed in a relationship. They weren't capable of matching what I wanted and what I gave. That, I just want to say, is reason enough to end a relationship. Don't let everyone's focus on who's toxic, who's a cheater, who's an abuser. They don't have to be those things in order for it to be worth it for you to leave that relationship. In fact, you need to prioritize looking for real good functional chemistry, alignment, alchemy, all of those things for it to be a fulfilling, useful, meaningful relationship for you. Don't just get into relationships for the company or the distraction. But anyway, I digress. So as I continued in my career and I'm always researching, always learning more about my craft um, and my passion, and I started looking into the asteroids. Now I will say a lot of I align more with traditional astrologers, and a lot of traditional astrologers will logically point out that the asteroids were not used that much. And there's a lot of asteroids, so it depends on which ones you're talking about. Um, and I agree with that to a point, that when we're talking about your chart placements, your planets, and your houses, the asteroids do not matter in that same way. However, they can give some particular nuance and insight, and that can be very important at particular times in your life, which I'll talk about in a second. Now, when I looked up my chart and these particular asteroids that um, I started using to inspect charts and that I have integrated into this reading, there's other things involved, but includes asteroids. I saw things that I had always said from my own heart in my relationship and things that my previous relationship did not give me so one of the things that I like to impress upon people when it comes to astrology is I don't think you look to astrology necessarily for your destiny. I tend to use spiritual practices and languages as a way to describe things that I may have known in my heart. For instance, before I ever really looked at my own chart, I only knew my sun sign, right? But I would always say, one, that I didn't really feel emotionally, like when they talk about what cancers are like emotionally, that never resonated with me. And come to find out, I have a Capricorn moon. Your emotional world is your moon. And Capricorn is not a particularly emotionally expressive sign, right? But another thing that I would always talk about is doing the work. I felt like people should be responsible for showing up and doing the work. That, that was the point of coming to this world. I knew what I was here to do. I knew that I came here to do it. And I was very focused on getting the work done. What was the work? You know, I mean, you know, the work. Come to find out, again, Capricorn moon, Capricorn Mars, Virgo rising. I have a relationship to work, right? So my point there is that a lot of times looking to your chart is not so much to find out who you are, but to give language to things so that you can understand why you feel the way you do about certain things. So back to my own chart, like I said, I found things in these placements that explained, that gave context to things that I'd always said. And I'm not in the business of telling my business on social media. Um, and in, you know, if we schedule a session, I can give you a little bit more context around this. But one of the things that I'd always said is like, you know, I don't need somebody who's up under me all the time. And I want somebody who is really driven, that has something that they're doing that they're pursuing in this world and I need and kind of crave somebody who wants to explore and adventure and do these kinds of things with me and I had always kind of like tried to push my partner to be more that way and they just weren't um and if I had known here's the big thing if I had known back then years ago that that was the case that these were not just passing fancies of mine 
they were really core to what fulfilled me, I would have known to make the cut a little sooner. So the biggest thing to me is saving you time and heartache. There are things that when we see clarified, when we see affirmed, when we see validated in our charts or in an intuitive reading, because the clear heart reading includes some intuitive work, some divination as well, um, it gives you the confidence to make finite decisions. So when is it useful? Like I said, it's very nuanced. It's not the same thing as knowing, okay, you know, my Mars is in Aquarius, so I'm always going to find, uh, you know, be impassioned by these things and I express my anger these ways. That is a like all the time thing, right? When you have your placements. When we're looking at asteroids, the very nature of asteroids is that they pass by at a certain time. So I interpret that as when we're looking at these things, they will apply to particular moments and you want that kind of finite nuance. <clears throat> so this reading is really for people who they're not, again, you should, if you want to make use of this reading, this shouldn't be like your first foray into your own chart. I would suggest that you've had a natal chart reading by me or someone else or by yourself, that you've done this work already, but that you are at a time in your life where you know that you are about to or you are faced with making changes to your career and your love life. And I say career specifically for creatives. If you are an independent artist, a writer, a you know designer, or something like that, this is also going to be very important for you because we're going to be talking a lot about your Venus and your Venus placements and love and creativity related placements as well, not just relational. The other thing is that it's not about you and somebody else. This is not a synastry reading. I generally, at this point, I really like to focus with my clients on knowing themselves. In fact, I just got out of doing a focal on my Patreon that was about intuition and knowing yourself because you cannot do a lot of the spiritual work if you're not focused on you. You are the main character of your life. You are the sun in your solar system. You need to focus on knowing yourself very thoroughly. And so what I realized when I was building out this particular session is that if there were certain things that you knew about yourself, truly, it would lend to there being a lot less confusion when you are faced with crossroads or when you're meeting a new person. So, you know, again, the three main points that this reading addresses is one, are you a creative and you are looking to figure out what does alignment in your creative energy look like? What kind of paths, career paths, project paths are aligned with the way that you want to express yourself? Two, are you looking to show up better in your general relationships? Which would mean you need to know what your own energy is like, what it seeks, and what is very fulfilling to you when you interact with others. And three, are you looking to either start or deepen an interpersonal, like romantic, a partnership, a partnership? I'm not talking about finding someone for the sake of finding someone. I'm not talking about um, dating. I'm talking about you figuring out what does a real aligned partnership look for you. If you are ready, and this is not a healing, I've said before, when it's beyond healing and you're actually ready for the discovery part of your journey, this is when you can come to me for this particular reading. And I'm only doing them for now until the 20th of June. And that's just because that's when my books are open till this month. Um, you can follow me and find out when they're going to be open again. But for now, these readings and my books in general are only open until the 20th. Now, the thing is, since this particular reading, the Clear Heart reading, is new, I'm also doing a promotion so it's 25% off. Now, I give all of my patrons on the Empowering Support tier and up a 25% off discount on all of my services. So if you like those kind of numbers, you can become that kind of patron. But for everybody who wants to try out the service, then I'm offering that discount to you as well. So if you're interested in that, just you drop a comment. My email is as such. I'll leave that down below and you can inquire there. I can give you further details and we can look to your booking. But I hope that explains anything that you are looking to have explained about the Clear Heart Readings. Peace.